earn up to 75,000 bonus points, enough for up to 10 free nights at participating properties when you spend just $2,000 in the first 90 days. Just from having this card, your elevated status everywhere you go if you just flash this card and you just let them know, hey, I got diamond status. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Wall of Monkey channel. Today, what I wanna talk about is Barclays. Yes, Barclays credit cards. We have never talked about this, actually. So we've got a, uh, a good amount of data here uh, for you. And so I figured, hey, you know what? It's, it's time we cover it. Now, I think that just like US Bank, just like Bank of America, a lot of people are sleeping on Barclays. They just kind of maybe don't know, even know it exists or they don't think that the cards are that good. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna highlight two banger cards that I hope will absolutely change your mind about Barclays and you actually start to look at it with a more serious light. Now, both of these are business cards. Both of these, I know somebody who has these and they used a sole proprietor. They did not use an LLC. So they got a business card on a sole proprietor. These cards are absolutely incredible, especially if you travel, uh, whether it's domestically around the United States or internationally, these cards are stupid. So let's get into it. First one is the earner business. This is the Wyndham Rewards. Right off the bat, let's look at the sign up bonus. Earn up to 75,000 bonus points, enough for up to 10 free nights at participating properties when you spend just $2,000 in the first 90 days. Isn't that crazy? Just $2,000 in the first 90 days and you could earn up to 10 nights free. If that wasn't enough, you get automatic diamond level status, which first out of the gates, that is roughly the same as spending 24 nights in participating member Wyndham properties, right? So let's just say each property is $100 a night. You just jumped ahead the line for $2,400 value of how many nights you'd have to spend just to get diamond status, which then the second thing, let's look at what diamond status gets you. Not only it gets you free Wi-Fi. look at this, rollover nights never expire, um, go free and go fast award nights program, uh, preferred room choice, dedicated member services, accelerated earnings, you get late checkout, you get early check-in. On top of this, when you have diamond status, most other places, hotels, casinos, you know, resorts, anything you go to, when you show them this card, when you tell them that you've got diamond status, they will upgrade you. Now, they might not match. There is like a, a matching, like unwritten rule that they, they tend to match exactly what you've got because they want your business, they think you're a high roller, they think you're a high earner. If they don't match it, then they will give you at least a bump up from what you're getting everywhere else. So just from having this card, your elevated status everywhere you go, if you just flash this card and you just let them know, hey, I got diamond status. Like diamond status is stupid. So I mean, just those two pieces alone, we're now talking about up to 10 nights free, which again, if that's uh, $100 each, that's $1,000 uh, in value right there. You're already getting a $2,400 value at minimum, which Wyndham properties are never $100 a night, by the way probably more like 150 to 250 a night. So another $2,400 value with the, with the diamond status, besides what that can go and get you out in the streets at anywhere else that you go. You starting to, you get this? This is a sleeper card, man. I don't hear anyone talking about this card. Next, uh, earn eight points per $1 spent, which again, that's like, that's really good. And that's made at Hotels by Wyndham, as well as on qualifying gas purchases. Again, we gotta read that tiny TOS at the bottom. Five points per dollar spent on eligible marketing, advertising, and utility purchases. Oh my gosh, love that. Uh, one to one on everything else. Annual bonus, it's even better. There is an annual fee, but the annual bonus, you receive 15,000 bonus points every anniversary year. That's enough for up to two free nights at participating properties. I would rather use it for the two free nights personally than to use that, you know, use the bonus points to pay and redeem the cash. Your redemption to cash is usually way worse than your bonuses within the ecosystem. This ecosystem being Wyndham properties, which there's a ton, absolute ton, but it gets even better if it wasn't already better. <laughs> Complimentary employee cards, yeah. Cell phone protection provides supplemental coverage for eligible damage or theft on your eligible cellular wireless telephone that's registered to the business, which is a sole prop, which is you. So there you go. Exo facto, I've now got an additional layer of cell phone protection. Zero fraud uh, liability and no transaction fees, uh, no foreign transaction fees on international purchases. So like I said, when you start to go international and travel internationally, this is one of the cards you wanna pack because you're gonna get those upgrades, you're gonna be able to get 0% of foreign transaction fees, whereas most cards are like 3%, 1% to 3%, I'd say. Extended warranty per, uh, protection. I mean, it just goes on and on and on, guys. APRs are 18.99 uh, up to 27. 
cash advance 28%, so pretty typical, right? And then here's all that small text that you wanna read. I'll put it up on the screen there, and then you can read that, uh, or just go to the page. Next, I wanna cover the American Airlines Advantage Aviator World Elite Business MasterCard. That is a mouthful, but this is another banger, okay? And the reason why is because the American Airline miles and, and the credits and rewards within that ecosystem are so, so valuable. So valuable, especially again, if you're a domestic traveler, this is huge for you. Let's uh, let's get into it. Earn 80,000 bonus miles and a $95 statement credit after just spending $2,000 on purchases in the first three months. That is mental, absolutely mental because of the value of these bonus reward points. Earn 2X uh, miles for every dollar spent on eligible American airline purchases and earn 2X for every $1 spent on eligible office supply telecom and car rental merchants. So again, your rental car is even gonna get you uh, bonus points as well. Earn 1X miles for every $1 spent on all other purchases. 5% mileage bonus earned every year after your account anniversary date based on the total number of miles earned using your card. And of course you get first bag uh, checked free for you and up to four companions on eligible bags. I have the Delta card. It's one bag and it's yours and that's it. And then you get nothing else. For you and up to four companions on eligible bags when traveling on domestic itineraries operated by American Airlines. Yep, got it. Receive 25% in-flight savings. A lot more stuff is getting pushed to in-flight, whether it's meals, whether it's entertainment, etc. Um, no foreign transaction fees. So again, this is another great one to use internationally, even though American Airlines, I don't know how they are internationally. I would assume that this also has to do with their partners. So as long as I'm earning points through their partners as well, then I think this will be huge. You'd have to double check that. Annual fee is $95. Your status, reach a advantage uh, status faster with everyday purchases. Yep, that's true. And again, like the, the huge, huge value here is the mileage points, right? Because using those within the app, within the ecosystem of American Airlines is gonna get you way more than just using that for statement credit. I'm telling you that now. Um, there's also a companion certificate, good for one guest at $99. Again, if we scroll all the way down, you wanna read the small print. Other things to note is that um, they're kind of a pain in the butt. Your typical limit that you're gonna get out of the gates, the, the person that I know has these cards, they got $1,000 on this card, a $1,000 limit, and a $2,000 on the Wyndham, I believe. $1,000, $2,000 limits are pretty typical. They also ask a ton of questions out of the gates. They're gonna want bank statements. They're gonna want, you know, scan your driver's license. Oh, it wasn't clear enough, upload it again, faxing back and forth. Yes, they use fax machines still. They're gonna want very specific details. And a lot of times you're not gonna get instant approval. You're gonna have to call to the reconsideration line and explain to them why you want the card. And the easy explanation is like, because again, this guy had, he had Chase Sapphire Preferred, he had a, a high level Amex and they're like, they denied him. Well, they didn't deny him, but it was pending because they're like, why do you want this card? When he called, he told him like, okay, well, what's the number one business expense? Travel. Okay, well, I don't have a great travel card. So I, I want I want that with you. And then they approved him. Yeah, just understand that it ain't gonna be a, cake, a cakewalk. You're gonna have your, um, you know, kind of up against it. And, uh, but these cards are worth it. Like, I think these cards are absolute sleeper cards. Okay, then the last thing we need to check, and I, oopsies, forgot about this, is what do they pull? Well, the Wyndham Earners Plus, you're looking at uh, TransUnion. So I think it's gonna be Experian or TransUnion, depending on personal or business and what card. The American Airline card would probably be Experian as well. So some it's gonna be uh, Experian or TransUnion based on probably geolocation, based on what co-branded card you're gonna get. But I'm telling you guys, you gotta look at it. They've got a ton of actual cards. I'm sure that there's gonna be one that is uh, incredible for you guys. So come on over here to uh, credit cards and uh, check it out. Anyways, I'd love to hear your uh, data points on Barclays. I know that this isn't really a credit card company that's talked about often. Like you, you don't see a lot of videos talking about this stuff, uh, but I think that they're, for the most part, these cards, they've got an amazing card for every type of situation and they're sleepers, right? Absolute sleepers. 60% of you are still unsubscribed from this channel, which is crazy. I see this in every single video. Take a second, hit the red button. This is what we talk about, credit education for everybody. We are trying to grow a movement to help everybody. Rising tides raises all ships, I think is the saying. That's what we're trying to do here. That's why so many people feed us Intel. Intel that nobody else gets is because we are trying to help you guys and we just put it out there for free. Subscribe and shout out to all the Patreons. You're gonna see the beautiful names on the screen right now. They help us do what we do. If you wanna help support us, links are in the description below. That's it, bye.